reunite with his children. This story is about ordinary despair and ordinary people. Monday morning drudgery. It is a story about meeting a stranger, hearing his words of comfort, sitting down at the table and sharing a meal. This is a story about the meaning of the resurrection. It enables us to see the world not as we just see it, not as our carnal mind sees it, but as God sees it. A place not of death, not of decay, and not of defeat, but as a place where waiting, where we're groaning for the coming of our Savior, Jesus the Christ. It enables us to see that the risen Lord gives hope and joy when all we see is disappointment, trouble, despair, war, and death. My brothers and sisters, we have come here today because we have an opportunity to join God in his kingdom. What happened at the cross was not a ending. It was not a period. It was a dash. It was a new beginning. The future is not a funeral, but a feast. I'm going to say that again. It was not a funeral, but a feast. A family reunion. Have you lost something? ABC airs a television series called Find My Family. The show centers around finding and reuniting family members that have lost contact with each other. The show relies on a team of researchers and a host, Tim Green and Lisa Joyner, to help people searching for lost family members. Now listen to this. Each episode covers the story and search for mothers, daughters, sons, and cousins who have lost contact for years. For years. After gathering the background information, the Find My Family research team begins the difficult task of searching through public archives and records to find the missing family members while the host makes the initial contact, listen to me preachers, the initial contact with the found family members to inform them that someone from their family has been looking for them. My brothers and sisters, young preachers gathered here today, we're here to be those hosts. We're here to be those ambassadors. Let me give you an example. Hello, my name is Minister Darnell Tingle, and I am the host and ambassador for Law, Light and Salt, Inc. I have been given the honor of informing you that your father and big brother have been looking for you. You see, I looked through the public archives, and it says here that you were stolen out of a place called Eden by something called sin. And ever since... God's been trying to find a way to get you back. But he found a way. You see, it says right here, you know, the public archives. This is how much God loved the world. He gave his son, his only begotten son. And this is why, so that no one would be destroyed. But by believing in him, we will have everlasting life. We will be reunited. God didn't go to all the trouble of sending his son merely to point an accusing finger. Telling the world how bad you were. How you messed up because you ate the apple. Because you got lost in a place called Eden. He came to put the world right back together. You see, he sent his son, our big brother Jesus, to earth where Jesus went to a place called Calvary, where he was nailed to a cross to die for our sins. 
so that we can have the opportunity to reunite with our Father. Jesus was humiliated. Jesus' blood was shed. But ultimately, Jesus rose and conquered death. You see, death to most people is fine. But Jesus was looking beyond the next 24 hours. He was looking beyond the arrest, beyond the humiliation, and yes, even beyond the crucifixion. You see, Jesus was looking to the resurrection. You see, he was looking forward to when he would descend into the depths of hell and proclaim the mystery of the gospel. Oh, death, where is thy sin? Oh, grave, where is thy power? I like the way the message Bible says it. It says it like this. Death swallowed by the triumphant life. Who got the last word now? Oh, death, who's afraid of you now? It was sin that made death so frightening and law guilt that gave sin its leverage, its destructive power, but now in a single victory. Jesus got rid of these three things, life, sin, guilt, and death, are be gone because of the resurrection of Christ. Jesus also did these things so that it may be written, may be written, and so that we might find him, so that we, the host, might show the way. Now is the perfect time to go out and proclaim the gospel. God has been searching and finding a way to bring his people. And when they don't know where to go, when they say that we're lost, this is what you tell them. Look to the book of Revelation. Chapter 21, verses 1 through 7. I like the New Living Translation. It says, Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the old heaven and the old earth had disappeared, and the sea was also gone. And I saw the holy city and the new Jerusalem coming down from God. And I love the way it ends in verse 5. And it says, And the one sitting on the throne said, Look, I am making everything new. And he also said, it is finished. I am the Alpha and the Omega. I will give freely from the springs of water of life. All who are victorious. And in my home church, my pastor says it best. Amazing grace. How sweet the sound. I once was lost, but now I am found. Pictures. We have a lost world. But thanks be to God. We have the public record to show them where they are. Are you lost? If not, you need to show them the way. Amen. Amen.